Hey guys, what's up? It's Treasure. I just want to give you guys a little view of what I have to see through my window. Um, I got a new setup going on right now. So I finally made it to my new um, hotel with my bestie. She's sleeping right now, but this is my view. Hello everybody, it's Treasure again. And yes, I am filming that Miami heat. Oh my goodness. But I wanted to come back to you guys with an update on my boobies because it's post doc day three. Uh, today I'm feeling okay so far. I'm not really in too much pain right now. Um, yesterday was kind of crazy though. So one of the things I did want to talk to you guys about is uh, about doing the surgery and if you have somebody with you or not. Basically, I highly recommend that you have somebody with you. Um, if you can help it at all, please don't do this by yourself like I did. It was just too much. Yesterday when I left my other hotel, you know, I'm not supposed to be doing a lot of lifting and stuff. So I had to check out my old hotel. And because I couldn't check into the new hotel until 3 o'clock, I had to kill some time. So I went to the mall and went shopping, but it was just too much to do. I was in a lot of pain. Um, I've been having shooting pains going through my left breast every now and then. And it just was a lot to do walking around and the, the lifting up those shopping bags and stuff like that. So I don't recommend doing that. But like I said, I was just trying to kill some time until my friend came. Also after that, I drove. I was totally driving, but I drove to my follow-up appointment with Dr. Gurry. Um, basically, it was very short. All he said was that everything was looking really good. Now she looked very nicely and that he's not concerned at all. That my surgery on a zero from a scale from zero to ten, it was like 11. Like everything went flawlessly, which was great. But like I, once again, I was doing a lot of driving and it was just too much to do. Then on top of that, my friend finally did came. You know, it was like I didn't want to like, she, she was all the trouble to come down here to see me. But I definitely want to go out with her, you know, because she went through all that trouble. So we went out dancing and everything. Like, I mean, it's crazy. Like, we did so much stuff. So that being said, this morning when I woke up, I felt like somebody kicked me in the chest. Like, my chest felt so bad. Like, oh my gosh. So, like, I, I think I mentioned to you guys that the lower tail was not working for me. I was supposed to recommend to take between a half to one pill at a time. But I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm taking two at a time. And I'm a nurse. I give two lower tail all the time. But yes, that one lower tail was not working for me at all. But if you can, my recommendation is take it easy. Don't do too much stuff when you're first, you know, because it's like, it's crazy because I know it's like I had a surgery done, but I, I'm in Miami. I do want to have fun and my friend is here, so I don't want to sit in the house the whole time and be cooped up. But, you know, I would just recommend just having a friend in to pick up stuff for you to help you put on your bra, things like that. So it's, I just recommend having somebody with you if possible. If you really can't, you know, try to set up any professionals that I, that can help you, you know, get through these things, but it's better if you have a friend. Alright guys, let me show you the girls today. Um, once again, here are the girls. Um, I set the band off. It's still swollen. I mean, it's going to take a while to go away. I already know. Um, my sensation in my left breast is coming back, which is great. But um, still no nipple sensation on the left side. The right side is coming back. I can feel the nipple, the nipple on the right side a little bit better, but left is like completely gone for now. But overall, guys, I'm doing fine. I'm okay. Like, I'm taking my pain medicine. Me and my friend out the day. We got something to eat. And, you know, the main thing is just stands on my pain medication. But if I could have chose any place in the world to do surgery, I'm so glad I did it here. Because, you know what? I came here and it was a girl there, like, in the same place where I'm saying that it's a girl here that got her butt done. So, like, people come here and do this stuff all the time. Even though I love Miami, guys, no matter where you go, whether it be California, um, Miami, Maryland, wherever you are, make sure you get a board certified surgeon. That's the main thing. Like, please don't ever try to get any black market surgery. If you cannot afford it, save up for it, guys. I've been watching this show on YouTube in my free time because I've been kind of bored. It's been called, it's called Botched. And it's basically about surgeries that have been totally messed up and then people are paying for it. Because at the end of the day, surgery is surgery. You can die. It is a risk, you know. So you want to make sure you put your life in somebody's hands that is board certified and that is trustworthy. All right, guys. That's my advice for today. I am doing just fine. So hopefully um, I'll give him some sort of good uh, guidance to you guys. And if you need for anything at all, let me know. I'm heading back to be more tomorrow. I don't want to go. I just want to stay here forever. But no, back to be more for me tomorrow. So guys, back to real life. But if you have any questions at all, of course, your girl is here for you. Let me know, okay? Till then, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.